The Waffle Maker is shaping up to be a hidden gem of a multitasker. I've done breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now the big question, can the Waffle Maker help you have your cake and eat it too? This is Making Everything with a Waffle Maker Funnel Cake Edition. Get your fair pants on. The ingredient list for today is fairly simple. You'll need some funnel cake mix. You'll need some cooking oil. And then toppings to taste. Today I will just be using powdered sugar. To get started, we have our waffle maker that's been heating for a while here. Crank it up to high as always. And then you're just going to take your favorite cooking oil and pour it in here. Now you want to be careful not to overfill this because oil will expand a little bit when hot, but you need enough that at least have the batter have a good contact. Now I'm going to close this, let this heat some more before we introduce the batter. So with the batter, just use your favorite funnel cake mix. I'm using this one with a pitcher and I'm just going to follow the instructions in the back adding the mix and some water then just getting that nice and stirred up and this is going to go back in the funnel now that our funnel is ready to pour and our oil is as hot as we are going to get it i have my trusty clippers on the side here and i'm going to take a deep breath because this is a very hot oil and start Pouring now, I think the instructions say a lattice shape. I just panicked and started doing swirls. Okay, there we go. A little bit more of a back and forth. And there you have it. You really want to pay attention here. You don't want this oil to overflow. Now I ran it for 30 seconds with the as per instructions, and it looks like it hasn't cooked enough. So I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer here and keep checking it. All right, I'm back here. It has been, I think, about two, two and a half minutes. And now, finally, I think when we look here, it's going to be brown enough that I'm going to chance flipping it. And now that we have two sides and a top of waffle maker, I'm going to cover it. This other side here is also taking closer to two, two and a half minutes. Really just check it every once in a while. You see here, it's only been 30 seconds. It's not good enough. I'll keep going again for another, uh, tell another about two minutes. Here we go. I think we've got it good, or at least good enough. Yeah, every side is looking brown enough, cooked enough to eat. So I think with that, I'm going to take a fork, get my clippers in here. And just kind of hold it for a little bit, get some of that residual grease off, oil off. And there we go on a plate. From there, you can top it. I'm just going to use some powdered sugar here. If you don't have powdered sugar on hand, you always can grind white sugar in a spice grinder like I did. I'm going to powder it on both sides. This underside, nah, let's, let's do this side again for presentation. And there you have it. Let's dig in here. Okay. First of all, you want to do this one hot. Okay, this is immediately sweet, delicious, fried goodness. I mean, I really just can't stop eating this. I know this isn't quite as fluffy as a normal funnel cake, but man, it is quite delicious. Got to keep going here. Oh, boy. The waffle maker certainly makes a type of fried dough, but how does it stack up against a traditionally made waffle cake? Let's take a look. This is using the same batter traditionally. You can see here much lighter, airier. It cooked in 30 seconds per side. So quite a bit different between the two. So then what's our take home? Yes, I'm going to chalk this up to a victory. The waffle maker can make a kind of funnel cake, albeit a longer cooking, flatter, but nevertheless delicious waffle made funnel cake. 
Look, slather it with plenty of sugar and no one will complain. Well, thanks for joining me and making this Everything with a Waffle Maker a fairly fun event. And don't forget to brace yourself for awesome.